Hey guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have a little declutter. I The last time I did a declutter was I think back in December. I'm not big on decluttering. I, I am one of those people who would prefer to use things up uh, and get my money's worth and just be more careful about my purchases in general as opposed to decluttering. But occasionally I do need to declutter, get rid of some things that have either expired or things that don't make sense to have that I just realized don't work out for me, etc. So I have a handful of things in front of me that I've decided to declutter. Many of these things will be donated to Project Beauty Share, which is a nonprofit that accepts either unused or barely used makeup. So some of the things that fall into that category will go to them. Other things will go to just friends. Other things will go in the trash because they're too old. I've sort of stopped doing the declutters where I lay everything out and sort through each individual thing in my whole collection because I would only be decluttering maybe 5-10% to 10 of what I have and I know that most people don't like it when people do that so instead I'm just going to show you what I'm decluttering. It's just a few things here and there. I did actually just do a brush declutter last week where I actually did lay out all my brushes and sort through and I got rid of about 25% of my brushes so if you're into that kind of declutter I have a brush one that just went up. I'll link that below. But anyway let's go ahead and get into the products that I'm decluttering. So the first thing I've decided to declutter, I was really reluctant to do this but I've decided it's just it's time. <laughs> this is the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physicians Formula. This has been in my project pan since January. I have been using it just as a foundation mixer. I don't like it as a primer. I feel like it makes my foundation just go on weird and patchy. Um, so I don't like it as a primer but I was using it to mix in with my foundations and I was also planning on using it to mix in with my body lotions. I've made a little bit of progress since January, but I realized that this, the smell, has kind of gone off. It kind of smells like vegetable oil, but not in a good way, like old vegetable oil. Like, you know when you've had a bottle of vegetable oil sitting in your cabinet for like five years and it just doesn't smell good anymore? Yeah, that's kind of what this smells like. I don't know if it's always smelled like that, but it's something that I've noticed recently and I feel like I don't want to be putting that on my face. Maybe I could use it as a body product, but even still, I'd rather just let it go. <laughs> it's been sitting in my everyday makeup basket for like the past three months, and I just feel like it's just cluttering up my space. I don't enjoy seeing it there. I don't really like this product. I was making it work as a mixer for foundations, but I'd rather just enjoy the primers I have that I actually really do like as primers, and those I can mix in with my foundations too if I want to, and I feel like I've been, I, I have plenty of primers <laughs> that that I like, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass this on, probably gonna just have to toss it because I do think it's gone, kind of gone bad. I've only had it I think for a year, so I'm surprised that it would go bad so quickly, but yeah, it's, I, I think I, I'm just gonna feel better when this is gone. <laughs> So stay tuned for my project pan update. I will definitely roll something in in its place. So, okay, moving on. I have also decided to declutter this e.l.f. baked highlighter. I have it in the shade Blush Gems. I've barely worn this, and the reason for that is because this is a beautiful highlighter. It really is, and I, the few times that I've used it as a cheekbone highlight, it's just too dark. Um, it looks like it would probably work for my skin tone, but it just it casts a little bit of a weird shadow um, on my cheekbones and it makes my cheekbones look like there's something dark on there even though they're also reflective and shimmery. It just doesn't work for my skin tone as a highlighter. It's only been used for that a couple of times. I also told myself, oh well I'll just use it as a as a blush topper, but I never use blush toppers. <laughs> if I want my blush to be kind of shimmery, I'll just use one of my shimmery blushes or I'll layer one of my highlights over it, you know? So I don't need this. I've only used it, I've probably used it less than 10 times, so it's in great condition to be sent off to Project Beauty Share and I feel good about that. I feel good about just letting it go. Another cheek product I've decided to declutter. This is also one that I have, I'm pretty sure I've used this less than 10 times. This is uh, a blush that, it's a beautiful blush. It's the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amour. I hauled this I think back in December. Um, I talked about it in my haul update like a month ago. And it's a gorgeous blush, but I also told you guys in the in the haul update that I kind of regretted buying this because I, I thought by the name Berry Amour it would be more of like a berry-toned blush, which I don't have a lot of. But it turns out it's just 
it's just a peachy blush. It doesn't quite look like it would be in the pan, but when you swatch it and when you put it on the cheeks, it just looks like any old peachy blush. It's beautiful. I, I think it's a gorgeous product, but I just don't need another, another peachy blush. I know how long it takes to use up blush. I have maybe about five to seven blushes in my collection. I can't remember exactly. But with that many blushes, I'm not going to finish all those blushes up in the next like 10 years. <laughs> I have literally at least 10 years worth of blush and I don't even have a huge blush collection. So I'm going to get rid of this. I swatched all my blushes on my arm earlier today and I realized that this one is almost identical to the Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in Rosé Champagne, which I love. This is one of my favorite blushes as well. This one's just older, so I'd rather keep the older one and pass on the basically brand new one while it's still able to be donated. Um, I just think it doesn't make sense for me to keep it, so. And I don't feel like it's wasteful since I'm donating it. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited to get rid of these things. This feels really good. The next thing I am getting rid of is the, <laughs> I have been talking trash about this product for like three years. It's really not a bad product. I just don't get as excited about it as most people do. It's the single shadow from Wet n Wild in the shade Brulee. It's a matte cream colored eyeshadow. I have kept this because I'm like, oh, well, I feel like I have to keep it because it's just like one of those cult favorite products, but I don't ever use it. If I want an eyeshadow, if I want to use a powder to highlight my brow bone, to set my eye primer, which I never do, hardly ever, um, or for any other purpose that you would use a light cream colored matte shadow, I have a million of those in my other palettes. And furthermore, if I ever were to run out of all of those <laughs> that are in my palettes, which I never would, I could also just use my face powder for that same purpose, or I could use like the, the matte highlight powder that's in the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Um, I feel like that's like the same thing as this. I just, I never use this because I have so many other things that do the same thing and I don't ever reach, I, I hardly ever reach for single shadows that are packaged individually. So I would just like to stop pretending <laughs> that I need this because I don't. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Another eyeshadow I'm gonna get rid of because it's literally identical to another shadow that I have. It's a single shadow. This is the shade Bake Sale from Makeup Geek. This is nearly identical to the shade uh, Wake Up Call from ColourPop. They're both just like matte, mid-toned, light browns. I even used both of these recently, one on each eye as a crease color, and they looked exactly the same. I'm just gonna get rid of the Makeup Geek one because it's ever so slightly darker and so I figured I'd keep the one that's a little bit lighter. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to donate this. I need to figure out if I can package it somehow safely or I'll just give it to a friend or something. But yeah, I just don't need two of the same color. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I, I remember I had the bake sale one for Makeup Geek and then recently I placed a ColourPop order and for some reason that one looked on the website like something I didn't already have, but it totally was just a matte, matte medium brown. So I'm gonna just get rid of that right now. Another thing I'm getting rid of, this is one of those things that I told myself, oh, but I can make it work, I can make it work. Yeah, it's garbage and I don't want to make it work. It's the Lauren Brooke Cosmetics liquid liner in the shade Royal Purple. This was featured in my worst products of 2018 video and I haven't used it since a while ago. It is, it's just a terrible liner. I'll swatch it and do a close up, but it is, it's just so streaky and gloopy and it, it's just laughable, like watching it being swatched. It looks like I'm painting like finger paint onto my hand, like with a little brush or like watercolor or something. Like kids paint <laughs> that you would use, that kids would use to just like paint pictures on paper, you know what I mean? It's just, it's not good. And I, since I don't have any other purple liquid liners, I was telling myself, well, if I ever want a purple liquid liner, that I'll have it, but, and I can make it work if I really want to, but it's not fun. And so now I'm like, no, I, I don't even use purple liner that often. If I did, I have shadows that I could use as liners. Um, and I'd rather just buy, like, maybe one of the NYX colorful liquid liners. I'd rather just buy one that I actually like and enjoy using and stop pretending that I am going to ever make this work because I never even reach for it. So <laughs> goodbye to that. That's just going to go in the trash. I think it's kind of start starting to get dried out anyway. It's just not a good product. Stay far away from that. I'm also going to get rid of the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. 
This only comes in one color as far as I know, and I did enjoy this for a while. I've actually gotten quite a bit of use out of the, the wax in here and also the medium brown shade, but I'm just realizing that this, this just isn't a good shade match for me. Um, it's not a bad product if either or both of the powders works for you. Um, it's got like a cool toned dark brown and then a sort of kind of neutral to slightly warm toned medium brown in there. If either of those works for you, it is nice, but I just don't, I just think it's kind of the wrong color and I, lately I've just been really into like micro brow pencils, so I'm just going to stick to those for now. Um, if the color were better, I would probably keep it because it is a nice product, but it's just not necessary for me to keep this. Plus I've gotten plenty of use out of it. And then the last couple of things I'm getting rid of are both nail polishes. One of them is the Wet n Wild nail polish in Red Red. Um, it's just dried out completely, like it's basically solid in there. So can't really use that anymore. It's a really nice bright red nail polish. Um, I'm not gonna repurchase it. I promised myself and you guys at the beginning of this year that I am not going to be purchasing any more regular nail polishes because I just have, I don't have every color of the rainbow, but I also don't need every color of the rainbow. Like that would be impossible. Well, I mean, I guess there are technically only seven colors in the rainbow. I do have more than seven nail polishes, but you know what I mean. I don't have every color known to man and I, um, I'm, I'm glad that I don't because I don't paint my nails all that often anyway. And uh, I'm bummed that this one dried out, but this is why I'm not going to be buying any more because I have so many that they're, they're going to go bad before I have the chance to use them all up. So unfortunate, but yeah, that has to go. And then I'm also decluttering this e.l.f. nail polish. It's in the shade Nude because it's the same pretty much as this one I have from Wet n Wild in the shade Yo Soy. And I don't even think I've ever used this one because I already have the same color in another one. So there's no need to keep that. So yeah, that is it for this little mini declutter. I know it's not a lot. That's why I, I didn't you know, lay out my whole collection on the floor and show you me sorting through everything because this is all I'm getting rid of. You know, It wouldn't have been that impressive <laughs> if I'd done it that way, but I do want to kind of update you and let you know the products that I'm getting rid of. Um, I, I feel good about this. Like this is, Everything here I feel like I either can donate and someone else will get some really good use out of it or it's just gone bad or it's not a good product in general. So this all feels really good to me. It feels like a healthy level of decluttering, <laughs> um, but not, you know, I'm not decluttering anything just for the sake of decluttering because that's just not what I do. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.